we're going to try to demonstrate HoloLens over Skype. What? So that's Mary Jo's view. Yep. What? So now we can see the audience. Hey, right, everybody. Right. Hey. Settle. Settle. <laughs> All right. All and right. so it and that gray box that I'm seeing, that's actually the hollow what I don't No no that, that gray box is just a menu just floating around above the audience that's been left around. Uh people play with the HoloLens and they leave all virtual <laughs> it's just, like uh, But it's not hologram. real, it's part of the hologram projection because from what it I'm is, seeing it looks exactly. like there actually could be a gray box in the audience. This thing exactly. it's, it's, yeah, my it's, hand goes it's just through, kind of through. A, oh, that's wild. Screen that she can close. Okay. Actually, if she looks more onto the floor right in front of her, there, and maybe she backs up a little bit, there should be a tiger around there. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a little <laughs> difficult. This is the funny thing. If I walk with this device through the, ah! there it is. Ah! <laughs> So, so we can see this. Uh, obviously, she, she's the only one that's able to see this. Right. And, and she can walk around where she faces uh, the front of the tiger. Um, this is wild. And this is just a, a simple demonstration of, of having uh, virtual objects throughout your room. Um, but, and but what about... I've wait a, a minute. I don't, this is not... Where's the mail slot thing? This is a full screen view. Is that a different thing than, I, than Mary Jo's seeing? Yeah, so, right. So and maybe Mary... Well, she can't... We can't hear her, but... Um, yeah, so what Barry Joe sees is a, a holographic uh, 3D projection of this. Yeah, so tiger. we're see, we're seeing it, uh, you know, the full effect. She's she is seeing it. If she, yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, we can't really hear her, unfortunately. And we have to. Uh, yeah, oh, sorry. So what she was saying is, is she is she's seeing something roughly? Is I think no. she doesn't you see. Know. But does she see a full picture of the rest of the room and just the hologram? Oh, yeah. Is, okay. yeah. Yeah. No, so, she, she, right. it's not virtual reality. She sees the room. It's just like yeah. glasses, but yeah. there's something projected within and, the room. And the tiger is only within a smaller field on the overall view. That's correct. Got yeah. it. And if she looks a little bit more into uh, to the distance, there should be a ballerina. a ballerina there. Yeah. And, this, and this place uh, is haunted. Yeah. <laughs> this it is, is actually fascinating. And, and actually, when you click on it, um, uh, this, this, this is always an interesting. How do you click thing. with your hand? That she's yeah, going to attack. So, so it's, you put up your finger and then you oh, click. Yeah. Uh -oh. yeah, and I think this is going to work. <gasps> she's not going to attack. What the what? Oh, she disappeared. Uh, and now it's only just gone. <laughs> uh, what did you do? No. <laughs> get the Ouija board out. We'll get her back. <laughs> what? This um, is wild. Maybe walk up to it and. So when when she moves her head the ballerina will move in and out of that male slot she'll disappear as as her field of view uh changes but as long as she's looking at the at that ballerina in that particular area of the view it'll she'll be no there. way to actually display the yeah the no, limit I understand. Of which she's right it's the, as, but if you think of a of a kind of a rectangle an ob, like a male slot a superimposed this is what she no, no, I know, but she has a limit, you know. Her yeah, a limited view. Yeah, no, but we no. can't show that. Yeah. No, because there's actually a camera right in yeah, front of. Yeah. We're seeing uh, we're seeing uh, a live feed from the camera. Yeah, basically. so so it's not what she sees through her eyes. It's just a camera right above her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, that, that is, I see uh, a shark uh, floating in the audience. Exactly. Yeah. Guys, watch out! <laughs> Maybe you can walk up to the shark. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah. That's it. Wow. And then she's she's wandering around. She's untethered, Leo. She's, she's. That's the <laughs> other thing that's cool. There's no. She can just wander around in this. Yes, and and they're like we said. They're, the whole church here is is yeah. full of junk that people left. Virtual junk. That These people, people have no idea how much danger they're in. <laughs> <laughs> and and a little bit more to the right. Uh, a little bit to, up to the right, you will see a um, a satellite, I believe. And and oh, yeah. yeah, so there's all kinds of other things uh, floating around, and and obviously these these are not useful things. This is fun. <laughs> this is fun for the kids, and and they love it. Right. Uh, right. They asked one uh, for Christmas, so I had to disappointment uh, a little bit. Uh, we've got an, uh, an astronaut. Yep. You can click the astronaut too, actually, and it will start waving at you. So it's a it's a video, in effect. It's a it's a virtual video that, and you can walk all around it. it it's a 3D yeah. uh, video, so obviously we can mm -hmm. only see it through uh, as in a 2D motion. But yeah, but she can move you, around it. Yeah. Yeah, she yeah. can move it around and then see it from all different sides. Yeah. Right. It's not like one of, it's not one of those old video games where these things were actually flat textures. It's a 3D. 
object in space. Well, projected as if in space, I guess. Yeah. So yeah, this is this is. Oh, there's a little bird right on the table, actually. Maybe. <laughs> That's funny. So, so this is just a fun bit, and and obviously this is not for businesses something they would uh, generally use, I think. Um, but we built some some other applications which are also publicly in the store uh, at this, this moment. Um, one of them is uh, AMS Holo ATC, which is uh, a, a demonstration app that we uh, build. Um, uh, if you want to read about it on the blog, uh, go to Local Yoast. You wrote all about uh, the building process okay. of uh, the application. And what you will see is uh, Schiphol Airport here is the, the major hub airport. And we see live data of all the aircrafts flying so this around. So this is what you demoed earlier. Yeah, this is what so we, we can't can, show them this app. We can that. actually do sh uh, show you that. So, I mean, so, so while, while she's... Well, You'll have to help her get it get it set up. Hey, so, Joe, go stand sort of a, behind uh, the guys because I yeah. want to see you. <laughs> yeah. It's, it, what it is is a, it's a live view of the airport. You see yeah. the Koning Tower. So if you and the planes the menu, that are in the air are in the air where they're supposed to be uh, holographically. And go to the plus That was sign. a good view there. We just set up. Yeah, there you go. Is this, is, is this the Windows holographic interface that we're looking at? Yeah. Yes. Yep. This is the menu, and then we go to AMS logo. <laughs> and now we start up one of the screens. And yeah, that's crazy. Huh? What do you? Th I'll, I'll, I'll ask Mary Jo afterwards. But yeah, so screens loaded, oh, made with Unity, yeah, so, personal edition, yeah, just floating Unity, in the air. It's just floating in the yeah. air. That's so amazing. So within a couple seconds, we'll have a a view of uh, the map of uh, Schiphol Airport. Uh, we'll see oh, a little enough. church. It's <laughs> so actually it's right located us. right in, on top of us, and and that little church is in the exact same spot where we are at this moment. Um, so she moves closer; it gets bigger yeah. within yeah, the limits yeah. of the frame on of in her view, right? Yes. So then, at some point, it would clip it. But it look, would click. Would go wait, outside look, the range. Look up above my head, you can see a plane coming in. Oh yeah. So it's just a wide little, and yeah. she can move up closer to it, yeah. and and we'll see what type of airplane it is. <laughs> Let me get out of the way so I don't hurt it. <laughs> so. No, no, and if you come on close, you can. Oh yeah, there's maybe a little uh, above it. There's the. Uh... Yeah, so so the image quality is much clearer what she sees instead right. of what. Yeah. Can you, you see, see the little now. people on the plane? I can. Yeah. They're screaming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Sorry about they're that. They're terrified guys. right now. That is so um, cool. <laughs> yeah. So 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 we really can see neat. the trail lines of the airplanes. Um, we can see which airplane they are, which, yeah, which it is. Yeah, you see another yeah. one coming in. So it's uh, sort of like a. Almost like a landing pattern. If you go up, look a little bit up, you see one just going up really high. You can follow the trail lines. Oh, yeah. It's just. So is this, uh, is this real time data or is this canned? Yeah, this, this is, is real time data. Real -time Holy data. cow. So, and, and since, since we're uh, really near uh, Schiphol Airport, we can actually look could, at like, the glasses and then hear yeah. them coming uh, over. Right. Uh, oh, my God. You can look God. out the window yeah, and see the same planes. Oh, yeah. my so, God. This is the future of UI. You totally can see that. I mean, and, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, and we can interact with this. We we can show the same data on a Surface Hub, and then mm -hmm. you know have an 84-inch TV right. screen, uh, interact with that data, see this 3D uh, images on a 2D screen, but also use Power BI, for example, make some analytics behind it, um, and and interact with that data, and we can show that live on the HoloLens again. Right. Or we have people that walk in the field, have a have their cell phone, select one of the airplanes, and interact with the holographic environment. And and this shows basically that all types of different devices can interact and, and make you see and, and experience something oh, that we all experience normally in 3D <laughs> too. And this can make better decisions. Right. Um, Especially in critical, fast decision making. Do you see maybe air tra air traffic controllers maybe even using something I like this? I would love to talk to these guys uh, yeah. and show this because I, we can do all kinds of things uh, with this. Uh, make a cone around the airplane mm -hmm. so if they come too close, it's yep. like you can actually see it instead of having a two D radar. Right, image. right, just so they could be anywhere in space. <laughs> yeah. Right, and, exactly. and maybe put some weather data in there, like wind speed and that sort of thing. You know, uh, think of it, and we can basically put it in there and and, yeah. and show it and and make life decisions 
um, instead of having to interpret all that 2D data, make it in our head into a 3D model, yep. um, which is a great thing uh, to do. But, you know, if, if awesome. I would give a, a child this, they would be <laughs> able to steer the planes or it sounds yeah. like, hey, they're too close. Yeah. There's no learning curve uh, right. there. Right. Yep. That is so cool. It's crashing. Come on, duck. <laughs> <laughs> so, but she's not controlling it. But you could see. I mean, the, you know, there are all yep. sorts of things that could applications for this. This is really amazing. And, um, and, and this is air traffic, but you know, uh, police, mm -hmm. uh, military. Yeah, anything. They, one of the other demos you have is the Minecraft uh, version of Amsterdam, which is exactly. awesome. And uh, you could kind of see how that might be used. To you were talking yeah. about emergency services as an example, yeah. where you could see where ambulances or firemen or exactly. policemen were exactly in the city at any given time. Yeah, and and, and the Minecraft done uh, application is built by uh, Geodan, another mm -hmm. uh, a company we work together closely with, um, and they basically we have. Um, the whole Netherlands in Minecraft. Yeah, and uh, it's a, it's one to one, Leo. So it's actually literally the size of the Netherlands. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you can walk it's through. A it. long walk. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So yeah, actually, you can see one of the monuments uh, uh, within the Netherlands. So maybe we can show it yeah, by going. In, uh, this is so much uh, in our future. I mean, I really see the value of it oh there's there's the gesture huh, to this is the, this is the thing we need to clean up our our screens right, you know right. remove them first yeah. before we open something else so it's, it's funny because you it's can, a, you it's can see a kind of hand. like an italian hand gesture exactly. yeah oh, oh yeah um if i had an, a meeting where <laughs> multiple people were and some italians i had to explain first <laughs> what i was going to do not that. saying anything about your parentage <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so the, again, the Windows holographic interface. I, I wish we had some way of superimposing you know. the box, the letter box that she's seeing, yeah. yep. because yep. this is much like the Microsoft demos on the stage, where you're seeing a full frame as if this stuff is superimposed on a, you know, your full field of view, and and you still have the full field of view, but the box, uh, the controls, the the things that are going on are inside a smaller clipped rectangle. Mm -hmm. Roughly right. that size? I mean, yeah. we're, is it? I mean... We're going to ask Mary Jo. So, Mary Jo, when you brought up that window, yeah. is it fair to say that you could see that window in its entirety? Yeah. yeah exactly. Okay. Well, that's pretty big. I mean, that's... It's a good chunk of the view. I mean, you have to imagine you wearing glasses. You know, if I look at, uh, underneath my glasses or on top of my glasses, I don't see shadows. Paul, you've turned you know? into a voxel. Uh, I'm, an, I'm, a, I'm a mountain <laughs> inside of Amsterdam. Uh, yeah, it's, it's difficult to see. Uh, apparently, yeah, it's, it's go right in, in, in front of me. Um, <laughs> this, this basically shows uh, a bit of uh, Amsterdam. So cool. right? um, is this the same one we saw before? Yes. Is so this, this is, is there a Reich Square. Museum here or Reich Museum? No, this no. is the Royal Palace, right? Royal it Palace. Is. Okay. Okay. Yep. So, and this is an early, early uh, beta right. uh, version. And imagine that you can put data on here too. This right. is just a static view, and there are some cars driving, but this is just fake. This uh, is Westworld, Leo. Yeah. Well, you can see like, in a, in a few decades it is Westworld. I mean. Right. Exactly. Well, this is you're seeing folks watching this at home, and I hope I know most people listen, but I hope at some point you'll get to see the video of this. Uh, it doesn't take much imagination to take this from you know pitfall on the Atari 2600 mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. uh, to modern to Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, and you can see, and that was that was what 20, 30 years. You can see this how this will evolve. That's just remarkable. Yeah, That's it's remarkable. amazing. <laughs> yeah. So, so the, these are the, 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 the um, those colors are, are the ones that are scanned but aren't made into a nice okay. view because when they yeah, put so in you, the data, yeah, they prettied up the square basically. Yeah, and, yeah. and, and there's a community of, of students and mm -hmm. you know anybody that wants to that can uh, claim a bit of their own street and then That's clean awesome. it up and right, make right. it into uh, uh, something that looks more. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Do Don't be aware trip. where you walk. Uh, yep. Um, yeah. There so, you go. There's a square right there. So, so there's other scenarios that we can do is, is um, where you have an engineer, for example, that needs to fix something and you can always send your specialist everywhere. But what if you have a general engineer and you want to help them remotely, they can 
watch like you are watching now uh, um, the screen and they can interact yep. with your 3D world, um, but also put up a, a model of the piece of equipment you try to fix and mm -hmm. you know show this is the screw you need to unscrew. And if you do that, this thing falls out. So be aware and it could direct you to that same screw. And, and, and there's different applications we've right. built that way um, uh, to interact with each other. So the specialist is somewhere in different country or different state. Um, helping you yeah. guide you they don't have to physically go there go there yeah. and, and that saves a lot of travel um, and then you have maybe less specialists in a central location and have your generalists all around the world that could save money and right um, so there's a, a lot of amazing um, scenarios around that too <laughs> I love that gesture <laughs>